What's going on guys? I've got a new tutorial coming back at you. Well, it's a new series anyway. Um, I'm gonna make a console RPG game with C++. So if you're interested, definitely stick around. I'm gonna give you just a quick teaser though before you like, you know, commit to the, watching the the whole series. You get to see what we're actually going to make. So uh, it's just a console game. So here's the start. Enter your character name, so let's name it Alex. Uh, elf, or no, we could go Dwarf. And Male. So yeah, there's no sound or anything. Um, I, I could show you beeping later, but this is just like a an intro story type of thing. I'm just gonna let it play, and I'll, I'll I won't talk much. So here we are. Here's the main uh, like console for for that we're gonna have so this is gonna be like your hard heads up display so it's gonna have your name your race your sex uh your level experience so your current experience is zero experience to next level so we've got a couple algorithms for those to like um increase as we go and your current health so you got a move forward a relax and a move backwards we can we we can change it up in the uh, series, but we'll see how it works for now. If I press 2, for example, and then enter, obviously, <laughs> and you see how it cleared? If you press 2 again, you just want to chill out for a second, you heal, you heal with an algorithm as well. So, first level is times by 10, then divided by, I'm pretty sure. And then you can only do it a couple of times. You rested but did not heal, you feel stiff. And then so say for example you have 10 hp you can only do that three times and only get at level one anyway you can only get 30 hp on top of that so you'd only have 40 hp and then you have to risk moving forward and possibly encountering a random monster so i didn't find an find a random monster so i can heal again three more times but it's always a risk here's my first monster so i'm fighting an ogre and the ogre, uh, the monsters have a randomly generated level so they can be any a, a range of i believe it was plus three so anywhere from one to three from my level so if my level was 10 they can be from 10 to 13 and their health is also randomized so we can attack so i did four damage and he did six because he's a higher level than me he's gonna do more damage i've got a lot more health though so we can just keep attacking. And one more for the win. Done. Zero health, and he didn't get another attack in. And we defeated the ogre. You were awarded with 20 XP. Well done. And you can see the XP actually updated, and the level, uh, that's still the same. When we get to that point, we'll... we'll level up so uh, now I can show you the healing mechanic so we healed an extra uh, 86 so an extra 10 on top and I can heal all the time until uh, three times total until back up to a maximum of a hundred for this level when we go up to a next level it, it also increases that uh, we found another ogre um, the there are mon there are multiple different monsters so I have um, uh, four in an array, but we can obviously add more. I'll show you how to do that uh, Time to show you the other features so we have a block as well And if you fail to block you will suffer some am some damage, but if you actually manage to get the block you will heal So I healed five and I blocked all incoming attacks so the ogre didn't actually hit me back And then this guy's pretty weak, so I'm just going to kill him, and then I'll show you the run for the next one. Run away is basically what it actually means. You actually just run away, and there is a chance of failing at running away and getting damage done to you. So 
we got 20, 22 XP for that. So I'll just quickly show you the running away. Um, it's not, it's not actually lagging. My computer's not lagging or anything. If you feel like it is, I've actually put a sleep on there. It gives the player uh, time to actually read it. Oh, this one's a level three, so he's hitting me for nines, and I'm only doing four. So the game I built it a bit strategically, so you have to actually think. You can't just um, keep attacking over and over and over again because you're gonna you're gonna die, and blocking is not gonna save you because you you fail a fair bit. Um, so you're gonna have to run pretty much, or else you will die and. Yeah, and then once you die, the game's over. There's no save in this. I haven't built it. So I failed that run, and I managed to run away. Now I've got 30 HP, so I've got to try and heal. <laughs> so yeah, remember, you can only do it three times, and then it starts saying that you feel stiff from sitting for too long. So I've got to try and move. I moved, but it failed, so that, that counter is reset, so I can actually heal, heal back up. So uh, let's go 90. I really want to just show you show you guys uh, the level. So when I actually get a new level. So this guy's level two. And he's only doing six damage to me. So I should be able to kill this guy with my health. And I, and um, the experience is given by how much health they had. So I believe this one had 44 HP. So I will get 44 XP from it. So each point is. Each point of health is uh, experience level. We can randomize that. I did have it randomized before, but it was giving me one XP <laughs> for some fights, and that was a bit ridiculous, so I made it to um, have the same amount of XP as the health, which I feel is a bit better, con a bit better because I, most games are kind of like that. And I should get a level from this. So we'll see. It waits a second, then... You leveled up, your total hit points have been increased. We can we can definitely slow that down a bit. And like this hasn't updated yet, but it will after I press enter or return. Now I'm level two, I'm about eighty six XP and level and my health also went back up to full with an extra twenty points. Actually that gave me forty points. Oh well, we got a couple of bugs to fix. That's alright though. It's always fun to fix find find bugs while playing and then fix it so I just want to quickly show you um, that I do eight damage now instead of what I was doing so I've been multiplied up by yeah you, you you get the point each level you go up you get more you get more damage that was a fairly weak monster I got only 24 XP I haven't put a I haven't put a quit on the actual screen uh, that's alright. We can always do that later. It, quits are easy to implement. So here's the code. I didn't want to... This program is really suited for beginners more than anything. So I didn't really want to uh, build it for... Build it at extreme with like multiple CPP folders and multiple header folders. So I just put it all in the one folder. I have all my, uh, you know... I have all my functions and I have my ver my global variables. Then this is the start, my main function. And then we go to HUD, a combat HUD, the actual combat system. And then creating a monster function, our void function, and our story. But overall, um, We'll definitely get into this next next um, video. We'll start with the basics. I'll teach us, uh, you know, STD count, just uh, just similar things while we actually build this program. So hopefully you stick around. Um, I'll be posting hopefully sometime in a couple of next days in in the next couple of days. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Bye.